Hey guys, I'm so glad you could join me back for this week's lesson. So this week we will learn about God sends manna and quail. The lesson is from Exodus 16, 1 through 35. Today we'll find out that God is loyal. That means he's always a good friend to us, no matter what. He's always there for us and wants the best for us. We'll hear how God sent his friends food each day, each and every day. And that that food came from the sky. The Bible tells us about one of the times God took care of his friends, the Israelites. God was loyal to the Israelites, even when they were not very loyal to him. When someone is loyal, it means that that person always sticks with you, no matter what. God always sticks with his friends, including you and me. Let's find out how God was loyal to his friends in the Bible. God had just saved the Israelites from some very mean people. He was leading them to a special land he had prepared for them. But to get there, they had to walk through the wilderness. The wilderness was not a nice place, and it didn't have any food or water. Our room can be like the wilderness now. You can take blankets and sheets and cover up all your toys, books, and puzzles, and fun things to do. Now that we've covered everything up, our rooms don't have any fun things to do. The Israelites, they didn't like the wilderness. They worried about how they would get something to eat. They complained to their leader, Moses. They said, why did you bring us out here? We are so hungry. I want you guys to take a time, take a minute to share a time when you guys were really, really hungry. You can share that with whoever's watching the video with you. I know for me personally, sometimes I get caught up in the projects that I'm doing or the day-to-day -day tasks and I forget to eat. And then later, I get really, really hungry and I regret not eating. So, the place they moved from had food that they could eat, but the wilderness didn't. The place they moved from was also a bad place to live. The people there treated them badly. The Israelites forgot how they'd ask God to help them get away from the mean people. Even though the Israelites groaned and complained, God heard them when they asked for food. God took care of them. God is loyal. He sticks with his friends even when they're grumpy and complaining. God said he would make sure that they had plenty of food to eat, and God did just what he said. That evening, lots of birds flew and covered the camp. God told the people to gather only enough birds for each person in their family to eat. The next morning, God sent a flaky food that tasted like honey wafers. They called it manna. God told his friends to pick up enough food for each person in their family. So the people did and took the food back to their tents. God told his friends, gather only what you need for the day. Do not save leftovers. I will send more tomorrow. Some people didn't follow God's directions. Some families tried to keep leftovers and then they went to sleep that night. When the people got up the next morning, the leftover food they saved smelled bad, and it had bugs in it. Even though God's friends didn't obey him, God was still loyal. He stuck with his friends and kept sending them the food they needed every day. One day a week, he sent them enough food for two days. On the day he sent them enough for two. He said they could gather extra. He told them gather enough for each person to eat for two days. God wanted his friends to have a day to rest. That's why he had them gather extra on the day before their day of rest. Remember, God told them to get the food all ready to eat the day before the day of rest. God said it was okay for them to have leftovers and on one night each week so they went to sleep. 
When they woke up the next morning, the food was still good. That way, they had food to eat on their day of rest, and they didn't have to do anything to gather or cook. Some people went to look for more food on their day of rest, but God hadn't sent any food on that day. He wanted them to relax. That's why he sent them enough for two days. Even though some people didn't obey God, God was still loyal to them. God gave the people exactly what they needed every week. He gave them new food each day, except on the day that he gave them twice as much so they could rest. God made sure they had food like that for 40 years. One day God told Moses, to gather a jar full of the food and keep it in a safe place so that they could show their grandchildren that God had sent them food. The jar was not for eating, but to show that God provided food for his friends. God was loyal by giving his friends food when they weren't being good. Friends to him. He gave them what they needed even when they whined and complained. He gave them food when they were grumpy and disobedient. God always stuck with his friends, no matter what. God was loyal to, to the Israelites. He is loyal to us too. God always sticks with us. He loves us so much and he'll be there to take care of us no matter what. He shows us how to be a good friend too. We can be loyal to God, our friends, and our family, kind of like God is loyal to us. You can be a loyal friend, too, by sticking with others. We heard today how God was a loyal friend to the Israelites, and we found out that God is loyal to us, too. We found out God loves us so much, and he always sticks with us. God is loyal because he's always good to us. We can always be sure he's with us. And we can always know he'll give us exactly what we need. Like he did for the Israelites in our Bible story today. We are all friends here at church. And I want you guys to remember that God is always loyal. And we can be loyal to each other. Let me flip over. I have a Bible verse I want to read to you guys. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. Psalms 103.8 Remember, God is always loyal, and we can be loyal to Him, our family, and our friends. I hope you all have a very blessed week. <clears throat> Let's end the lesson with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will be with each and every child that watches this video. I pray that you will protect them and help them day to day. <clears throat> I pray that you will help them be loyal friends to you and to their family and to their friends. <clears throat> Lord, I thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. And I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen.